This is Mahesh Ravi and in this video we're going to take a look at how to create some amazing product mockups using Adobe Dimension and Unreal's Twinmotion. So let's get started with it. I already have a um, packaged decal uh, that I've created using Photoshop so it's right here. It's not in the accurate dimension or anything because this is just to test it out, right? So I have the uh, file right here. I'm going to save it to um, my desktop. So, so the first tool that we are going to use here is the Adobe Dimension. So let's open Adobe Dimension. Yeah, here we are in Adobe Dimension. So let's go to the project setting uh, section. And I think this setting works pretty cool for this. So create and we have a document right here. So there's not much work that we have to do in Adobe Dimension. The only reason that we are here is to wrap the decal that we created into a uh, mockup and then export it out. So I have this, um, I'm gonna use this beverage can uh, for this experiment. Let's scale it up a bit. Let's drag and drop our texture into the can. Let's do some scaling to fit it perfectly into the model. Right, so we have that thing um, ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just click on the um, model, click on the share button, export selected models, and choose the GLB format because this actually creates a single file with all the materials baked into it, which is very easy to work with on um, Twinmotion. So we're gonna export this. So now we have the uh, the file. We're gonna import this into Twinmotion. So let's open Twinmotion. You can go to unrealengine.com and then uh, look for products and download Twinmotion from here. So you'll get a free trial version, which is not supposed to be for commercial use, but you can use it while you are experimenting with it and learning it. So once you have downloaded this, open that so you can close this startup dialog and you are jumping straight into the scene builder. So we have the interface of Twinmotion right here that you can see. So on your left side, you can see the library where a lot of assets are already available. Uh, you can see your workspace right here and you can see the scene, which is basically um, a layer chart of all the objects which are in your scene. You can see the inspector window uh, it's basically the properties panel in here. There are a couple of tabs which are available here uh, where you can import an object, you can add materials, you can populate a scene, uh, you can create the media that you want to uh, render out and then finally the exporting of your file. So we will go through, um, we will just jump into the main points and I'll just cover it. This is not an elaborate tutorial on Twinmotion. Uh, but I'll just tell you how we can actually, as designers, how we can actually work with this to create some interesting product mockups. So if you look at your scene, you can see that there is the starting base, which is here with a starting ground, a platform, and uh, a sphere. You can turn it off because we are not going to use it. We'll go to File, Import, and we'll import our um, GLB file that we created. So I'm going to select the model, just move it down to the ground so that it, it is sitting uh, in the ground itself. So after that, I will just use the gizmo to rotate it so that we can see the front of the bottle as well. Okay, we have um, our basic scene here. Now the next thing that you have to do is you have to um, define the media that you want to create out of it. So I'm going to click on the media and we will create, we want uh, an image out of this. So I'm gonna click on the image, add image. So it creates a camera instance here. So whatever you do in here, you have to update in here to make sure that whatever you have on your viewport is the one that you are currently exporting. So we created that and now when you select the image, you can see a lot of options that is here. So for instance, let me just show you how this works. So if you go to the environment uh, tab, which is on the image, you can change the time of the day and the scene changes 
uh, its global illumination accordingly and change the time of the day and accordingly you can change the exposure of your camera as well you can change the weather you can change it to uh, rain you can change it to uh, sunny you can even change the seasons to winter and uh, summer you can see how the ground changes to snow and things like that we are not going to use any of this right now we'll go to camera and we're going to change the focal length we need a little more zoom so we are going to zoom in a little closer to the object we will enable the depth of field so to enable the depth of field and you can see that now it's not focused on the object so you can pick focus and choose the bottle in the scene here now that this is on focus and the other stuff will be out of focus now we have it and uh, now what we can do is you can go to the render settings you can change the global illumination but i think it is it's something which actually works by default so you don't have to worry about this you can go to effects and you can adjust the contrast and the saturation of the scene and finally you can come to image here and you can um, enter the resolution that you want so currently it is set to full hd um, we can change this to 4k so i have a 4k scene right here i'll just go again to camera and increase the focal length so that we are closer to the main object so we have the scene set up so we'll just come here and refresh the scene so our image actually matches with everything right now that we have set all these parameters let's build our scene completely we will finish building it so let's go to um, materials so you can see a lot of preset materials which are available in the library what i want to do is i want to change the material which is available in the ground here so i'm going to click on ground i'll go to nature and i'll choose a more natural look to the ground i'm going to choose the wet mud here just drag and drop and we can see that it's already created in there and that happens very quickly what we'll do is we'll start populating the scene with some more content so let's go to vegetation let's go to rocks and just pick some random rocks and put in the scene so when you click on this your cursor gets loaded with a uh, rogue so if you click here it changes to another rock and you can keep placing rocks without you know clicking on the tool again so it, it always comes with a random variation of that rock and you can build the scene uh, pretty nicely here so i'm going to just keep something just a little closer to the bottle and one right here So we have uh, some rocks here as well. I'll just take one more rock and maybe put it in the back of the whole scene. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So let's go back to vegetation and add some um, trees maybe in the background. So I'm gonna select a tree and we can maybe put a tree right here. So there's a tree in the background there. We can find some um, bushes or take a bush base i'll add that also into the scene uh, maybe there works let's go back to vegetation take some grass maybe grass and flowers and we can see some interesting So we have uh, a scene here. We will come here, refresh the setting here. Again, we can see that everything is loaded into our image, whatever is in here. We can double click on the image here and see how the medium is going to look like. 
in the final result. So you can see that this is how your final image is going to be because we picked this as focus area and everything beyond that is going to be out of focus. So that actually looks pretty interesting. So once you're ready with everything, you can now go to export. You can click on the image, choose the image that you want to export, come back here and click start export. And you will get a really high quality photorealistic image of a mockup. So try this out when you're designing um, mockups for your next project. It will definitely add value to your portfolio. I'll see you next time. Till then, bye.